What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, Craig? <laughs> you know that off of memory fire? What's up, Craig? It's good on my 40. Um, yeah, you read the title. That's why you clicked on it. Um, I've been unemployed the whole week. Unemployed life. I thought I was going to start this job this week, but it took a little while for my background to go go through because I'm a, a gangster, you know what I'm saying? I got a bad criminal background, you know? I'm shooting, you know, selling drugs, all that stuff. Nah, I just, you know, I put it out there. I already got, I got a bunch of driving tickets, but that's it. Um, you want to know more, watch that video. But yeah, I've been unemployed for the whole week, you know what I'm saying? So, I start Monday, and I don't really, look, I got a good, easy job, you know what I'm saying, that I'm going to be working. Um, it's dope. I'm getting paid great money, you know, great hours. Um, I can stack it up quick with this job. I'm not complaining about the job at all. It's just like being unemployed this whole week. <laughs> like I've been waking up when I wanted to wake up, you know. I, I hit the snooze on the alarm, you know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the alarm's going off snooze I ain't got to be nowhere in the morning you know <laughs> it just feels super good you know what I'm saying and I'm not trying to brag like like oh yeah I got like a whole bunch of money where I can do this I just got some saving you know I've been really really cheap with my money you know I've been really cheap with my spending um you know I just I just been you know chilling basically you know hitting the gym and um you know doing some doing some I don't want to sit there and uh, say like I'm not doing shit the whole week you know what I'm saying um because I've been spending like I just had to pay three hundred dollars look I, this is my problem with these mechanics man why the fuck you gotta scam people like that like man like honest working people you know what I'm saying like I got scammed out hundred and fifty dollars and then I went to I finally found finally found a good mechanic you know um and he charged me he charged me uh, three hundred dollars because these mechanics said they're gonna fix my AC. I need my AC because it'd be hot as hell in my car. You probably like, I don't need no AC. You know what I'm saying? It'd be hot, and um, I'm doing this Instacart thing. So, like with Instacart, you know, I'm in the car. You know, so it'd be hot as hell. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just the point of that. So yeah, I just um, I ain't been just sitting on my ass. I've been. Um, going to get my laptop fixed it's kind of turning into an update slash podcast slash shit you don't care about you know <laughs> i'm going to get my um my I, I dropped my laptop off at the computer store that's gonna cost me um it's gonna cost me probably like 250 250 right you know so i'm kind of taking losses during this week but i'm building back up so that's gonna cost me 250 my uh uh because i got a whole bunch of Turns out I got a whole bunch of viruses on my laptop. Who knew? I didn't even know. Somebody was doing Bitcoin behind the scenes on my laptop. They weren't stealing like my personal information, but I guess they were running a Bitcoin thing. They could have brought me in. Could have broke me in. You using my laptop and my my um my uh stuff. You know, hook 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 me up. You know what I'm saying? We cut a deal together. You know, get money without me, man. Some bullshit. You know, people these days got no sympathy. But uh. Yeah, it's just like, um, uh, I just been cool with like being unemployed, you know. <laughs> and I don't want to make it sound like I just want to lay around all day because I, I get out the house and do stuff, you know. Like, I, I I say this week, you know, I took like okay, I spent three hundred on the AC to get the AC fixed, um, one fifty that I got scammed out of, uh, another two fifty, you know. So damn near, damn near close to a thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm actually driving past. You see that shop back there? I'm driving past the bitch ass people that scammed me out $150, you know? Um, but I got a good mechanic now. It's in the past. You can't be mad. Just be glad, you know? So, yeah, you know? Um, but I'm gonna build it right back up, you know what I'm saying? This job, like I said, is fucking dope, man. I like this job, man. Um, it's dope, you know? Um, maybe I'll talk more about it in the podcast, but it's dope. It's paying me great. Uh, I'm not getting beat up by hot tubs and stuff. Uh, uh, even if I knew I was going to start this week, if I, even if I knew I wasn't going to start this week, I would have quit that job. You know what I'm saying? Because that hot tub job, I liked it at first, but that shit is some straight. After I got to like seeing it, 
That is some straight slave shit. You know what I'm saying? It's four of us pushing a thousand pound hot tub off a truck. And sometimes we're going down like crazy ass slanted hills. You know what I'm saying? Um, the other, my last day, it took us like a damn near an hour. You know what I'm saying? This dude that I'm working with got hit with a metal pole by the thing. Like, I got a big ass knot on my head. I think I received my first concussion. Um, you see this, this, this scar? scrape across my face, hitting the lip by a metal bar, you know, I'm just taking beatings from this job, I'm like, and they're not even paying me that good, so I'm just like, why am I doing this, why am I doing this, and they don't even want to give out no overtime, they're being stingy with the overtime, you know, oh, I'll go home, sometimes we get done early, and they don't even give out eight hours, so I was just like, oh, hell no, nah. y'all got me all the way fucked up, you must not know who I am, and I quit that shit, you know what I'm saying, I just said, Forget that shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even tell them. I ain't even tell this is how smooth I am with it. I ain't even tell them. I ain't getting no two weeks, none of that stuff. I text the uh because I'm going through these temp agency. I got like I got I I am signed up with like 20 different temp agencies in my state, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> they're contacting me from jobs left and right. So I'm locked in, you know what I'm saying? And um I told I, I at the end of the day, I told the lady, like, look, just a heads up, I sent her a text. I'm not coming back to this job on Monday, you know, it's a wrap, you know, it's over with, and, you know, that's just how you gotta be, you know what I'm saying, with these jobs, like, F that two weeks notice shit, like, they don't care about you, you know what I'm saying, like, if you were to mess up, let me, let me put it this way, you can be at the company all you want, you know what I'm saying, and give them all your time and devotion, you mess up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, you do something they don't like, you out of here, sorry, we gotta let you go, sorry, we gotta let you go. I knew this dude, like I said this in a couple of my videos. I used to work with this dude, went above and beyond the job he did. Above and beyond. Manager's always sucking his dick. Hey, good job, hey, yeah, good job, good job. Yeah, the minute he messed up, he got into it with somebody, didn't put his hands on him, nothing, fired like that. Boom, gone. When I seen that, when I seen that shit right there, I said, I will never. I will never work more than what I'm paid for, you know? I will never go above and beyond. You know what I'm saying? You got me all the way fucked up. Um, the company cares about the company, and you gotta get that through your head. Simple as that. But back to what I was saying, because this video is getting kind of long, you know? I'm kind of cool with, you know what I'm saying, not working a nine to five, but then also, I like the structure of a nine to five. I like, uh, you know, having a steady paycheck every week. You know, um, when you're entrepreneur, and like when I'm doing this Instacart, I work when I want, but, you know, if I don't work, I got no income coming in. So it's like that, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's it, 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 it's kind of different. And I've been watching YouTube videos on this Instacart. You can make, like, 1500 a week if you take it as a regular 9-to-5 job. You get up, work them eight hours, and just keep grinding, you know? And I've been working, like, man, like, I say, like, five hours, making a little, little change here and there, but... Um, uh, I like it, you know what I'm saying? I got no boss over me. I got no, um, I'm not saying I'm just gonna do it full time, but I'm probably gonna continue it. Um, I got no, uh, you know, people over me. But uh, that's just, I guess, guess an update, you know, and a little rant on the side. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.